I'm Monique LeBlanc, head women's basketball coach here at Brown University. Thank you so much for being with me today on The Coach's Corner. Here we are with the ball. It's on our sideline, uh, right in front of our bench. And shot clock's off. We've got 16 seconds here to tie or win the game. And um, what you're going to see here is a, a good play. I like that there's several options for the team to try to get an opportunity to score. All right, so right away we get it into Dom. She's our point guard, our playmaker. And you see here we flash Justine number four, uh, the team's leading scorer, into the block. And so this is a great option because, you know, Justine is a sizable guard. She's tall. She can score in a lot of different ways. So a great first look to, to get the ball to your leading scorer close to the basket. Uh, then we've got a double staggered screen happening over there close to our bench. And so you'll see Maddie coming up off of a double staggered screen now, that would be an option too. If she was to catch and be open, she's a good three-point shooter and uh, I'm sure um, you know they would have wanted that shot to go up. But you'll also see that Maine is switching every screen here. So as Maddie's coming up off this double, you see that they went ahead and switched on to, to deny her that shot. And um, so she wasn't open there for the shot, right? Keep your eyes now on Justine again, number four under the basket she's running off of a second double staggered screen. So now, like I said, this third option all within the same play. Um, so as Justine's coming off of this double staggered screen, Maine switches everything again. And so number 15 on Maine jumps right out to deny her that opportunity. Good defense, you know, uh, Justine definitely, um, you know, could knock that shot down. So. Um, now you're at a point where as coaches, okay, option one, two, and three got denied. Uh, and this is where you really lean on your team to make a play and to be playmakers. So what I like here is you see Maddie put it on the floor. And as soon as help pulls in a little bit, she gets rid of it, which is great. Um, sometimes in these situations, you know, players might force the issue. You know, okay, our play didn't work. Uh, some of those options broke down and they might force the issue, but this is great recognition by Maddie to see this defender helping, and she, ki she kicks it to Dom right away. Now, the ball's in Dom back in Dom's hand. I think that's exactly where you want it um, when your first few options uh, didn't work out. Now we're counting on Dom as our point guard and our playmaker to do just that, to go make a play for us. So you see here, she gets it through a tight space, not a lot of people probably still have the ball going through that tight of an area, but good job by her to maintain possession. And then here, the footwork, you know, really great step through move. You know, if we didn't all know that she was our point guard, you might, it's, you know, uh, mistake her there as a post player with great footwork on that step through move, but um, goes up here and makes a really tough shot with her left hand prior to that moment that we just watched where Dom hit the game winning or game tying layup, um, she had a phenomenal game, uh, you know, in terms of scoring, rebounding, assisting, you know, she also had six assists uh, throughout that game. And so I think her confidence was at a really high level, which is a huge boost for any team um, to have, of course, every player at a high confidence level, but certainly your point guard and your leader on the court. So Dom was really giving her team that energy too. Um, and I think, you know, her team had a lot of confidence in her in that moment and was depending on her to, to go ahead and, um, you know, be their floor leader and, and get them to make a play. And, and she did that. So um, I think those moments are really huge for like personal confidence and for team confidence. And um, you know, I, I just loved seeing that, that type of game that she had. And, you know, I think whenever a player plays a great game, you know, that's the, that's the mark of where you're, you want them to be every game from a energy and confidence level. You know, maybe you're not always going to score 24 points, but that persona that you play with and that energy that you're giving your teammates, like that's the new benchmark that comes from a game like that. They get it into Leonidas. Picked up outside by Simon. Down to 10 seconds. Maddie Mullen now. Leonidas trying to penetrate. Puts it up off the glass and in with 3.9 seconds. 
Knotted up at 61, made a chance at the buzzer. Can Milan do it? No, and we are heading into overtime. Bonus basketball here in Providence tonight as Dominique Leonidas, a new career high, 23 points, ties this one up with just a few seconds left. Thank you for joining us today on this episode of The Coach's Corner. We can't wait to see you in the stands, but until then, be sure to follow us on social media. Instagram and Twitter, you can see us at Brown Hoops.